Hello everyone, I hope you had a very nice bank holiday weekend and we're going to continue on with um, learning some new terminology. Last week we learned um, some new terminology about ecosystems, habitats, populations, communities, biodiversity and species and there's a big long list um, of definitions that you need to know and today we're going to look at the rest of them. So we're going to learn about producers, consumers, herbivores, carnivores, omnivores, predator and preys and we're going to look at food chain and its importance as well. Okay, so all organisms in an ecosystem can di be divided into one of two groups, okay? They are either producers, so they are green plants that make their own food in a process called photosynthesis, or they can be consumers. Consumers are any organism that eats another organism to gain energy. So, types of consumers then. Primary consumers. Primary consumers eat the producers. Okay, they're termed herbivores. Okay, they are animals that are hunted by secondary consumers. They are termed prey. This will all make more sense when we look at a food chain and you can actually see um, each of the consumers in their order. And then the secondary consumers are animals that hunt. Their prey, they are termed predators. They eat the primary consumers and they are termed carnivores. Okay. Consumer diets. You will have heard me say at the beginning some definitions that we're going to learn. Herbivore, carnivore and omnivore. In that previous slide we said that the primary consumers were named herbivores. The reason for that is because they only eat plant material. They will only eat the producers. The producers make their own food. They are green plants and then the primary consumers eat those plants. So they are termed herbivores. Then we spoke about the secondary consumers. The secondary consumers eat the primary consumer. So they are termed carnivores they only eat other animals okay and then you have omnivores so for example we are omnivores humans are omnivores because we eat both plant and animal material okay so as a wee flow chart your producer always is where the, all the food starts okay Green plants that produce their own food. Then, those green plants are eaten by a consumer. And you've got two different types of consumer. You've got a primary consumer and you've got the secondary consumer. The primary consumer is also termed prey. It is an animal that is hunted by the secondary consumer. The predator is the animal that hunts the primary consumer. So prey is the animal that's hunted and the predator is the animal that hunts. Okay, so like I said, we're going to look at this in a food chain. Okay, so food chains are arranged, um, as you'll see, with the producer being at the start. So for example, grass. Okay, producer always starts off the food chain. Then you have the primary consumer. So for example, rabbit. Okay. Then you have the secondary consumer. For example, a fox. Okay. So the producer is eaten by the primary consumer and the primary consumer is eaten by the secondary consumer. You'll see in the food chain arrows Okay, arrows show the direction of energy flow. So we get our energy from eating food. Okay, so that food is giving us our energy. Okay, so that grass is giving energy to the rabbit. And then the rabbit is giving energy to the fox once it's been eaten. Okay, so the arrows show the direction of energy flow. Okay. Plants get their energy from the sun, but that is not included in a food chain. Okay, 
The food chain always starts with the producer at the start. The producer always comes first. And in this case, the insect is the primary consumer. Okay. And the frog is the secondary consumer. Now, the secondary consumer is the predator. So the frog is a predator to those insects. The insects become the frog's prey. So I know this week's been quite short, <coughs> given the fact that it was a bank holiday this week, um, I didn't want to overload you with um, some new information. So the assignment has been posted and it is due on Monday night. Um, I've only posted this today because you had until yesterday to finish last week's because of the bank holiday. Um, again, as usual, you can submit it to me through Teams or through email. Um, this week, you can use page nine of the Life on Earth revision notes to help you with the task. And then there's the BBC Bite Size website as well, as always. And just the same as ever, we are here for you. So you can email myself, either of the Mrs Andersons or Mr Blackwood, and we'll all be happy to help you. All right.